Hi guys, Plum Venture. Right, today I've got a nice little. I'm not going to call it a review, I'm not going to call it my guess, but it's something I recommend for people who live in the UK. And it is based for the UK as well, what I do honest truthfully do like. And um, sorry about that, it's somebody at its potato egg just basically emailing me or texting me, I should say. Yeah, and that is this. The forage, um, forage of the Foragers calendar book. This is the newer version. This is the paperback version. I know they got a hardback version. But yeah, it. Oh, I love it so far. I recommend this book so much, especially if you live in the UK, because the book I showed before, the Food for Free book. Some of the stuff is in here in the UK, but some of the stuff's not. So you're looking through it and you think, oh, that must be that, but it's not. But this one here is just everything you would find in the UK. Yes, it is a big book. Yes, it is bulky. Yes, it's going to be heavy. But it's a really, really fantastic book. And it goes through the month. It don't go through. You don't. You can't find. You're not going to go flicking through all the pages looking for something. You find the month you're in. And then you can flick through the pages of all the months. Where you can see things. It's lovely. I mean, like, this morning time, where I live, there's cherries all over the place. And I mean cherries, I mean cherries. There's mountains of them. Yeah, you got cherries and you got the um, cherry plum. It's just... It's lovely. It's To me, this is a really good book. I'm really excited to enjoy using this book. I use this book as often as I can. I've not had it that long. I've only had it three weeks, three, four weeks, something like that, I think it's been, if that. More likely been less than that, really, think about it. But so far, I've actually really started to enjoy it. I it. That's the book itself. That's what it looks like. I want to pause it, that's what the back looks like. But as I said, it is based for the UK. I don't want to be horrible to all my people all the people who watch me from abroad but yeah this is a uk based book and oh it's lovely it really is lovely and it goes through everything it even goes through the law in this book as well what the law states on it So, yeah, and like, I highly recommend this book to everybody who's going into foraging, as well as get some training. Go and know somebody who knows about wild food and actually look at get their advice and go through them as well. Don't just go out and buy a book and then go, oh, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to go and pick that. Oh, this is, oh, I think this is this. I'm going to get it. Because that doesn't way really it works. This is a really good book. It's really good. It's like in illustrates. There's reasonable good pictures. As you can see there. Yeah, it's... you just got to be careful. Basically. When you're doing this, I'm not recommending everybody to go out and buy this book and then go out foraging. If you want to have a good read, this is a good read. I am really enjoying reading this book at this moment in time. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because all I'm just saying is a recommendation for this book. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you would get out in the outside. I know we were, we were going to do this video outside, but it's actually hammering down with rain, and I don't want to get this book wet. Because book wet means book destroyed, in my opinion. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please put the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, put the thumbs down. But please tell me why. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Because basically, it would be highly appreciated. And you'll see more of me. And you'll see more of Miss Dopey Dog. As you can see, right here. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.